today's discussion this is dr anjit and this is a testicular mass right so whenever this history it makes it much more difficult sometimes you might not be given a history also if you are not given a history you will see definitely some evidence of the normal tissue here like you can see you can see the seminiferous tubules i have added a detailed description of normal histology of testes please go to that if you have any doubt here fine you can see that you have the seminiferous tubules let me go to the higher power and prove that they are seminiferous tubules but I want you guys to pick at a very low magnification. Yes, they are seminiferous tubules, fine. So it's confirmed it's a testis. Now, let's go and look at the tumor per se. This is the tumor, which is kind of well delineated, not encapsulated, but definitely well delineated, right? Well circumscribed. In this power, what you can see is definitely there are a few places where you see kind of hypochromasia. I'm not sure what they are, but in this power, if you see something hypochromatic, right, it's around 10, 20x, it's definitely a very big cell or maybe a giant cell right let's go to higher power and see what they are because if you look at this part the only thing which you can comment here is i do have some nesting appearance here right there is some amount of nesting appearance maybe a very thin septa which is separating them here also this thin septa again you can see a vague nesting pattern or more or less is a diffuse sheets right just to comment on there's a chatter artifact there's a nick in the blade so it's caused this artifact here fine okay let's go to the higher power and see what it is exactly made of if we go to the higher power yes there is a vague nesting appearance scene you can see the septa you can see the blood vessels and everything right you can see them here and there but if you look at the morphology of the cells what is made of it it's made of a mixed population of cells you can see very tiny guys here this one and maybe here intermediate ones and definitely huge ones right look at this, this is a very huge cell again an intermediate cell again a small cell right i am sure you're getting the point there is a three different vari variations of cells big intermediate small right this itself is diagnostic right uh, this and also the pattern of organoid nesting pattern right it's a classical case of spermatocytic tumor the spermatocytic seminoma is an old terminology since spermatocytic tumor is a new terminology right because they don't arise in a background of germ cell neoplasia in situ that's one difference from seminoma it happens in older individual second difference from seminoma it happens only in testis extra gonadal sites are almost impossible right it happens only in testis and in microscopy i have three different population of cells and this cell has a chromatin it's called spermanospermine chromatin it's very very like a sieve like chromatin the same thing i have talked about the normal testicular architecture also when we discuss right go back to the histology ones so this kind of tells the various stages of spermatogenesis the small intermediate and the large cells that's diagnostic of a spermatocytic tumor fine okay i want you guys to know the difference between spermatocytic tumor spermatocytic tumor and normal seminoma because that will be the viva questions asked you can have few quite a few giant cells so here and there yes you can see giant cells also right so this is a classical appearance of a spermatocytic tumor and uh, if it comes please don't call it a seminoma that isn't bad sign for me like i would want my undergrad postgraduates to know it's a spermatocytic tumor and not a normal seminoma because that makes a hell lot of difference in the management it's very very important for you to know that fine so thank you for your time see you soon with one more video till then bye bye i'll add more uh, things about spermatocytic tumor in the fact sheet see you soon bye bye from dr anjit